There are various factors that can shape the money habits that lead us towards financial hardship. For some, it boils down to a deficit in financial knowledge or education. Others might struggle due to resistance to alter their money-related behaviors or attitudes. Additionally, the scarcity of resources or a dearth of motivation to amass wealth can also play a significant role, not budgeting or making a financial plan. One of the main habits that keep us poor is not budgeting or making a financial plan. Without a plan, it is easy to overspend and make poor financial decisions. Creating and following a budget allows us to track our spending, set goals, and plan for the future. A budget should also include a plan for paying off debt and setting aside money for savings and investments, spending beyond our means or using credit cards excessively. Another common money habit that keeps us poor is spending beyond our means or using credit cards excessively. This can quickly lead to debt and an inability to pay off what is owed. To avoid this, it is important to be aware of our spending and only buy what we can afford. Additionally, we should limit our use of credit cards and always pay off the balance in full each month. Not saving or investing for the future. Why don't we save for the future? Saving money is very important especially when it comes to retirement. Not setting aside money for retirement can put us in a difficult financial situation. To avoid this, it is important to start saving and investing early and to make regular contributions to our retirement plans. However, saving money is not easy for everyone. In the UK, 34% of adults have either no savings or less than £1,000 in a savings account. Many Americans have barely any savings. Shockingly and sadly, 56% of them would not be able to cover an unexpected $1,000 bill using their savings. Therefore, it is very important to analyze risks and carry out costs and benefits analysis before making any investment decisions. Not keeping track of our finances or relying on someone else to manage our money. Another habit that can keep us from reaching our financial goals is not keeping track of our finances or relying on someone else to manage our money. It is important to stay on top of our finances and understand where our money is going. It is also important to take responsibility for our finances and not rely on someone else to manage them for us. Letting our emotions dictate our financial decisions. It is easy to let our emotions dictate our financial decisions, especially when it comes to investing. It is therefore important to take a rational approach to investing and any other financial dealings. Some people make financial decisions emotionally. This is not helpful as adequate analysis is required before any decisions are made. It is important to understand the risks associated with any investment, and we need to ensure that we are comfortable with them before investing. Not having an emergency fund. Not having an emergency fund is another money habit that can keep us poor. Unexpected expenses can quickly put us in a difficult financial situation. An emergency fund can help us alleviate some of the financial stress. It is important to set aside some money each month to build an emergency fund that could help us cover at least three to six months of expenses. Not researching or comparing prices before making a purchase. It is important to research and compare prices in order to get the best value for our money. Additionally, it is important to look for discounts and other deals that can help us save money. There are many companies that can help us compare prices. Not considering the long-term cost of purchases. When making a purchase, it is important to consider the long-term cost. Many purchases have ongoing costs that can add up over time, such as insurance, taxes, or maintenance. It is therefore important to consider these costs before making a purchase. Not negotiating for better terms or rates. Negotiating for better terms or rates is another money habit that can help us get the best value for our money. When making a purchase or taking out a loan, it is very important to negotiate for the best terms and rates in order to save money. Not consolidating debt or refinancing loans. Consolidating debt and refinancing loans are two money habits that can help us save money in the long run. It can help us reduce monthly payments and interest rates. However, Many people do not consider this option or even do not know about it. Thanks for watching Simply Money. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and let us know what you think in a comment. We will see you next time on Simply Money.